see. We never got the chance, the chance to make it right, cause right from the beginning, some people don't they fight, they fighting for the same thing. This is not right, and rightness only come from when you see the light, like life is so simple, but they make it complicating. Hello, good day ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from whatever part of the country you are watching from. This is a love TV. My name still remains a love Wednesday. CEO a love TV. Your love therapist, Dr. Love. Okay, thank you for subscribing. And for those of you that have not su subscribed, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell for more notification. Well, today we'll be talking about relationship and dating. And guess what? We'll have a very interesting topic today how you can stop your woman your man from cheating yes can you actually stop your woman your man from cheating first of all there are some things you need to know yeah there are a lot of things you need to know before your woman starts cheating on you before your man starts cheating on you something is missing you know women we men i didn't say women women we men are sometimes the cause of the uh, cheating yes i'm a man and i'm telling you the truth for example the impression you give to a lady at the first sight that is what she follows you with once that impression is no more there she starts sneaking out most men um, wants to talk to a lady and then um, you start giving that person impression that everything is okay everything is all right with you you have heaven and earth you have a mansion here and there you spend money just because you want to slip in into her then as time goes on she begins to find out that those things that attracted her is not really there you faked it up what happens her mind begins to change this because ladies they love they said that sin is believing and what they hear you give them sweet words and they fall yakata for you two months three months things are not flowing the way it flowed the first two weeks what happens another guy comes in another guy that has it more than you whether you like it or not there is somebody that has it more than you there are people you have more than that guy that has it more than you choose on and still flash her with money. No, she has no option. But another issue is this. Remember that before you can stop a lady from cheating or a man from cheating, you monitoring your spouse, your girl, your man, can't stop him or her from cheating. Yeah. You monitoring him, pasting him, or disturbing her every now and then, shaking her cell phone for messages and all that. It's not gonna stop her from the shit. But what you can do is this if for you to maintain your relationship, you have to avoid boring moments. What do I mean by boring moments? Every now and then, every blessed day, you're on calls, you make calls, you make video calls. No, no, you will get tired. The relationship is gonna get bored and once it is bored the other person is likely to have a new yeah i'm bored with this relationship i am tired every now and then give gap you can you can call every three three days you can say hi hello every three three days not every day if the case may be let's say four times four times a week because you are busy you are working yeah that you are busy you are working doesn't mean you shouldn't call her that is i am not giving that as an excuse but for you to maintain a healthy relationship avoid stock calls avoid talking to each other avoid talking not talking i didn't say talking stalking okay give gap and do not visit your man and spend a month oh bullshit that is bullshit your relationship start getting bored from there 
if you, you visited your man and you spend one month, you spend two weeks, and you guys are not married, what do you think will happen tomorrow? Sleeping or staying in your guy's place for one week, uh, it uncalled for. That relationship is going to be bored. Believe me, it's going to be bored. So make times that you guys will be meeting, let's say four times, um, you know, four times a month, if the case may be. You see once in every week. I think that is the best. If it doesn't work for you, you can make it five times a month. Yeah. Because in a relationship, what works for me might not work for you. So, actually, if you want to stop a woman from cheating, what you have to do is this. One, there are three things that are involved. One, avoid giving girls, giving your man wrong impression. The first impression you give to her. When you talk to a lady that you have this, you have that, you attracted her with those things, those sweet words. The imbued love is not there. You just flash some things into her face and she has the smell and followed you. You didn't install. A computer user, there's something you call install. You didn't install your love into her. Forget about the money, this, that. When you install love into a lady, it is hard for that lady to you know, cheat. But that is apart anyway. Now, if you cannot stay in a relationship, the best thing to do instead of you fighting because i have i had a lot of calls uh, a lot of reports um people are fighting over a lady some people will say this is my girlfriend and you are moving out with my girlfriend that is bullshit can it be a girlfriend talk, when you talk about marriage and this is your wife even wives cheat on their on their husband talk less of you that is single you are just in a relationship and you are saying, um, this is my girlfriend. Instead of you fighting, I always repeat this, instead of you fighting in a relationship or trying to kill yourself because you, your woman cheated on you, you had a heartbreak, or your man cheated on you. No. What you do is this. Two things are involved. Is that you endure it? Is that you stay or you take a walk? But the most problem is that most people cannot stay together. You are stuck, the relationship is messed and you cannot let this person go. This person cannot let you go. Okay, leave this person, let her go on her own. Since you can no longer take what she's doing, leave her, let her go. But this one, he said no. You that is girl, accommodate the man, stop walking around. You said no. And Tofi cannot stay in the relationship. Tofi cannot cope in that relationship. Is that not living in bondage? Allow me to go. You say no. What? Accommodate me. Let's stay together. Let's be lovers. You say no. You don't want another person to mingle with me. And you cannot accept me. You cannot stop moving around. What are you doing? That is living in bondage. So two things are involved. It's either you take a walk. There is something you can take as an individual. There's something, there's a limitation to what you can take. If what she's doing, you can no longer take it. Give it a break. Let her go. Rebrand yourself. That energy you use in um, fighting or quarreling over a single person, no. It's not working. Your relationship, your marriage is not working. Give it a gap. Let there be a breathing space. Yes, let there be a breathing space. Once there is a breathing space, you receive fresh air. If it is not working, you can't force it to work. You guys are not meant to be. There's no magic about it. When you try to force it, to force the relationship, to be in that relationship, you end up be, you, you, you damage yourself. Mind you, in a relationship, two people cannot be lions. A few know said that, I there, I go. No, Agua de Liago, two captains cannot be in a boat. Is that your man is soft 
or your woman is soft. So in a relationship, one person must be softer for the other person to rule. When there's argument, too much of argument, this person wants to be the head, this person wants to be the head. It doesn't go, it doesn't work out that way because it takes two to tango. And two cannot agree, two cannot work together except they do what? They agree. Even the Bible says that. So once I see people saying, this is my girlfriend, I have a girlfriend, I, I see that then I call shit. You talk shit because one, you have not married, married her and you want to control her all the time. You can't. You can't control her all the time. She's not your wife. You are not legally married. So if you can't take more of her shit, let her go. Same thing happens to you, woman. If your guy is a flatter, give him a chance. Give him a chance. Rebrand yourself. Look good for the right person that is coming. You know, in life, you meet the wrong people first before you meet the right people. Your relationship doesn't work because two of you are not meant to be. If two of you are meant to be, things will work out perfectly. And once you are dating the wrong woman in Africa, be it in mind in some Igbo tribes, you are dating the wrong woman that is not your destined woman to be. Things doesn't go well. It doesn't go well at all. And another thing is this. Another question, but this will be in, a, in a, another of our episode. Um, if you see your right person, your right spouse, your, your right uh, lover, do you know at the first time? Because that is where the problem, the problem comes. You see a beautiful lady and you say, oh wow, this lady is so pretty, she is so beautiful. And you begin to use all your muscle, all your energy and the little money you've got to pour on her just to uh, get her just to get her attention. Now when she comes into your life and the very first two weeks, you guys enjoyed, fled, you took her out, all this and that, blah, blah, blah. After one month, that thing she saw that attracted her is no longer there. The cause you do make every now and then is no longer there. Because in every first new relationship, the cause is like uh, you work in empty an office. You call and talk and talk just because you need her, you want to swim inside her. Well, I think uh, I've been able to tell you to stop fighting in, in a relationship. If your relationship is not working, just give it a gap. Let it be. Free that relationship and uh, rebrand yourself. 